Still counting pills by hand? In a world that moves at lightning speed, traditional methods are slow, tedious, and prone to error. See how computer vision is revolutionizing biotechnology. We're making processes like pill counting faster, more accurate, and incredibly efficient. Using powerful models like YOLO, you can create and fine tune a custom solution for your specific needs. By training the AI to recognize different pill types, you automate the entire workflow, ensuring every count is perfect. And with platforms like Labeler, preparing the data to build these highly accurate models has never been simpler. So now it's time for our code demo, how you can create your own pill counting using YOLO V12. I have created this cookbook where you can fine tune your own YOLO V12 model for pill counting. But before moving or running this cookbook, uh, we have to first create a data set or annotate it. So let's go to our labeler platform. Here in labeler, I have created a data set for this purpose. As you can see, this is a data set of two files. Here is, here is a sample video. I'm going to annotate this video for pill. So now, first of all, I have to create a project on that. I have already created our project. Here is our project. Let's go and annotate it. Uh, let's see. I will do that here first. Let me show you how you can do a SAM2 tracking annotation. So here, now you just have to select it and annotate it. Here SAM2 is already on, so it will select. Now you just have to run the SAM2 tracking. And in few minutes, it will all annotate all the frames in the video. The result will be something like that. This is the already annotated uh, video project I have created. As you can see, with just one frame, I can annotate the whole video. This is the whole video I have annotated. Now, in our next step i have to export this after annotation is completed i just have to accept the accept it and now i can can go to our export here you just have to create an export and fill all the criteria after that an annotation json will be uh, downloaded here is the annotation json as you can see this has all the annotation so this file has all the annotation as you can see there are around 62 ob objects in first video so let's start our cookbook first you have to download a you uh, find yolo fine tune utility is help you to convert your annotation annotation and video directory into a yolo format which is necessary for this uh, cookbook so i have already done clone it there is it our find of here it is for our uh, folder so now let's run this now let's create an output to as you can see uh, you just have to give, give it the annotation file which is our annotation json and the video directory where you have stored all the, your videos uh, here is your video here is your video let's see here is the video you just have to give it now your data set has been created if you see the YOLO dataset tool, there is an image folder. It it has test train val label test train val and data dot yml. Here it is the part to our dataset, part to 
train part two val part two train and number of objects and name of the name of that object now let's perform our model training before that you have to empty your CUDA space it is a very necessary step if you have a local GPU like me let's see the status of my GPU as you can see I am still I am using around 1 GB 1 GB of my 8 GB VRAM some like the video recorder which I am using is using a large amount of that now let's go and see how much is allocated and cache so i have around free i have around 6.78 gb free so let's get to our yolo training so you have to install ultralytics you can ju just use it using this command uh, pip install ultralytics and run it i have already done that so let's run it now to fine tune yolo v12 you have to use yolo v12n or segmentation model and then dot yml file and then here is your model trainer uh, in first you have to provide the data dot yml which is the this file this file which we have created in a euro data set too so now you have to run this model of around 300 epochs the size of image is 640 and minus one batch size it's mean it will optimally decide which batch should be perfect for this model training based on your gpu condition and the device equal to gpu so me device equal to zero means you have to use our first gpu if there is cpu i have this model will use our cpu here are the workers it will uh, load our data in that number of uh, data loaders and there is our project name yolo 12 segmentation 2 and here is our uh, train uh, name of that run train run now let's run this i have already run that i am just showing you how it will look like now our model training has been started as you can see it is gathering some information as you can see this is my gpu it is using cuda equals to 0 5060 lpu laptop gpu i am using now it it took me around 2 hours to perform 300 epochs so i will just show you some initial part of it and we will interrupt it as i have already trained a model for uh, for my data set now it takes some time let's let's get to our next step Now I am interrupting it as I have already trained my model. So let's see the inference of our model. Here it is that when model is run, it looks something like that. Here it is our. Uh, as you can see, it is detecting our pills, but bounding box here is very. Uh, make our inference very messy we will use only dot annotation to track the each uh, each center of that pill so it will make make it easier here it's uh, uh, here it's uh, over now let's get to our next step uh, we will see that later now this is our main uh, class where will we perform real-time pill counter it's interactive poly uh, it has an interactive polygon means uh, in the video frame we will select a reason where we want to 
uh, count our pills and th these are just another things it's if you have to i have to explain it simple term it's a class where you just have to provide your mock custom print model uh, your video or your live stream video and then you have to select the region where you want to detect or track or count the number of pills then in uh, then it will handle all of this and so save the video or show you the result let's run this Uh, now let's provide it with a video a sample video i am using then the model i have trained this is the model i have trained it is the it has it is inside train run weights and best now uh, i am using the best.pt model now our output will be of this side let's see first of all i have to select uh, our region so here is the region i am going to select now i have selected the reason i have used to just you have, have to confirm using space now our model is running so let's see our result If you'd like to explore practical resources and hands-on examples, we've created a dedicated GitHub repository. It's filled with cookbooks covering computer vision, AI agents, and more. Link is in description.